done all that, that biking. It's been, that was amazing. That was really good fun. It was very dangerous. I think I almost fell down twice, but we survived. No one really uh, had any injuries at all. So we're on our way to the campsite for the rafting. Uh, it's about three hours away, which is quite some time. So we're just chilling, but my ass hurts from the bike. So yeah, it's taking a pounding. Right, stopping off somewhere, what's up? The following scenes are not for the faint of heart. Welcome oh to a random restroom in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Troll, this is just a drop. It's just a long drop. Oh, it's just a fucking long drop. Oh my God. If you'd excuse me. Yeah, well, good luck. I've got um, some business to attend to. Okay. Is there a dead body? <laughs> oh god, that's grim. That's grim. Oh, it's just a pile of shit in a hole. <laughs> I don't want to drop anything down there. Don't Imagine. Your glasses are in my head. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. We're just stopping off. This is the, just past the halfway point. Oh, I've got a witness. I mean, oh, oh, it's coming back here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, there's, there's the hatch. Is it empty? Yeah, there. Oh. Somebody climbs down in there with a shovel, I imagine. Yeah. And the gloves. Digs it all just up. Throw some matches down there, honestly. Just set it all on fire. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. Salad. Ooh, oh, so nice. You've got the river running behind us. Is it local? We didn't film much last night because we got it really late. The first thing they said to us uh, was to watch out for rattlesnakes. They're rife. Uh, there could be bears. They found some bear scat over there. And so every single sound we heard in our tent, uh, there is a shot of the tent there. It's lovely. Look, it's great. Every single sound we kind of said, <gasps> what was that? Assuming it could be a big animal. We haven't actually seen this area because it was pitch black. Now that I've got a scope on it, I feel a little bit safer. And also we had the sound of the river constant throughout the night. So it was like this white noise in the background. Normally that helps. I think it just helped me want to go to the piss, which I did. How do you cope um, with that? Uh, okay, so it was, it was pitch black. And what was great about that was you could see every single star in the sky. It was amazing. It was really, really full with stars. Uh, however, I was constantly like, just I saw my phone torch, I was just, like, shining it all around while trying to like find a place to piss. Uh, looking out for snakes. Uh, and all bears, and yeah, managed to do it right onto uh, Craig's face. <laughs> <laughs> We're totally cut off now, I don't know if you mentioned that. Yes, we are. We lost signal like an hour before we arrived here, said our goodbyes, our farewells and our wills were put in video form. Yeah, this it's, is another a bit, will. it's a bit belated, but apologies to all of our girlfriends. Um, it's three days. We're sorry. Three days of no signal. Yum, yum. I think I said it. Which means that we could get we could killed, we could get... I mean, no one's gonna know. Yeah. Well, we can't call for help. What's that? Delicious. Thing? What is it? It's basically like a Mexican lasagna. Avocados, eggs, tortilla. It's really nice. How was your night? Fine, apart from his snoring. Oh, did you actually snore a lot? I tried, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> he really put some effort into that snoring. He said you were paranoid a bit. Oh yeah, there was that point where you were like, I can hear footsteps outside. Yeah, the, no, I, I literally could hear. I think <laughs> it was probably Ross. But I no, heard I like... Go to, no, I didn't go near us. Literally like crunching on like dry grass sounds. I was like, there's a bear. Well, they did say there could be um, skunks. Oh yeah, like little other animals. Other critters and mice and stuff. But we're hoping to domesticate a rattlesnake while we're here. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Just don't stomp on it. I mean, it'd be quite nice to see one Yeah. from a safe distance. Mm -hmm. Signing your life away. Yeah, so uh, we have to sign a uh, form making sure that if we die or get injured, it's not their fault, which is pretty much standard for any kind of things like this. Uh, what I'm most excited about is uh, showing you the room tour. Craig, how the hell did this happen? It's nice a bit. Just sunk into the sand or something? It was just a hop and a skip away from camp. Home sweet home. Look at this, we've got, we got a bit of a view, we've got the tree right in front of our camp. I'm gonna give you a little peek inside because I don't wanna let any mosquitoes in. Have a quick gander. I'm sleeping here, Craig's sleeping here, and there's my suitcase for scale. That's where we're staying for two, two more nights. Let's go see what, uh, what Trot's up to. Another hop and a skip away. And maybe rattlesnakes. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Get off our land. How's your tent? 
Fuck off. Bizarrely, theirs is set up in the exact same way as ours. Except this one's filled with assholes. You look like you're having a great time. Look at our creek where it meets the river. Apparently the water is icy cold, it's all snow melt, which is why it's flowing so well. Look, this is the bit where I got attacked by the grouse. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> He's on the seat. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty funny little encounter. I'm talking to it I'm for glad some you time. filmed it. Yeah. Oh, it's just chilly. Oh, look at this one. It just doesn't care. It's not bothered. Hello. This is where we'll be entering the rapids. Here are the boats arriving now. So how this is going to work is we're going to be in the blue one with a guide at the back and us providing some help with the oars. And then there's going to be another guy slightly further down the river on that sort of um, catamaran style raft. Craig's a little nervous, aren't you Craig? Yeah, it's going to be fine. How are you genuinely oh. feeling? Are you a bit nervous about it? Yeah, very. If you fall off, you can cling onto Ross's chest hair. My hair! The great thing is, we've got flotation devices, uh -huh. so we're not going to go underwater. It's more about we might smash into a rock. There is that. Thank you. Dude, you literally were bombing it down trails yesterday. Yeah, but I know how to ride a bike. I don't know how to sail a boat. It's a babbling brook. Nice little babbling brook. I think it's more like a loud shout yeah. than a babble. Do I look fetching at this? We've got Ooh. these got all the wetsuits going on. Yeah. Nothing, well, it sucks everything in. Could be anything. It's too hot to put us on yet. I don't know how you're doing it, Craig. You don't I don't want to do that. I think the key thing is that they don't want us to fall out either, right? Yeah. No, otherwise, they've got to get us back in. Exactly, so it's just more effort than it's worth. Fun fact uh, I think we left or lost a GoPro. In a lay by? We're hoping it's uh, back at the bike place. It's got to be there. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. And then your face. I'm gonna try. You've got that Neanderthal brow. <laughs> Caused by your helmet. Oh, that you're on the end of Thor Brown. Dear God. You didn't even wear a helmet on. Craig's very worried. Should we um, chuck him in? Yeah, this is the thing. He's going to no, no. go in there. He's going to be an expert rower. Let's rip his nuts off. Just it's fill like his bed with poison oak. Poison oak is the, the hit theme of, of this so far, I think. Poison oak is like a plant that grows in the ground. It's not an oak tree, but it looks like oak leaves. But it has an oil on it that even if you just rub against it, it can bring you up in like horrible wow. weeping sores that could last for weeks. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit more serious than like a nettle. You, you don't you want up. to touch this shit. It can mess you up. And it's everywhere. It's all over the place. Yeah, the there's some on the path walking down as well. So oh. wash your ankles. Getting it all on camera though, nice. ain't you, Yeah. Bellin. There we are, we're about to get into the raft. That's our vessel, and this is the one that hopefully we won't have to climb onto. Shot's got his camera, Craig's we're excited. Keep up that all day, we'll be doing great. You feel all right? So nice. Like an owl. Very worried that we're going to Craig. Craig is the most nervous. I'll put this out. No! Remember these relaxing bits where you can easily fall in. Stop! All forward! Nice job, great line y'all, great line. You guys are so wet up front. Oh. <laughs> Moments of peace, luxury. You can see you've done it now. And you're gonna do it again tomorrow in the day after. How's everyone finding it? Surprisingly good fun. I've done this before and so far so good. Loving it. I love it. Craig, how do you feel? Yeah, it's uh, not scary. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, floating down this river. Me and Chris got just missed. It was beautiful. That didn't happen. Uh, Man anchor. Manker. Manker. 
Yeah, guess... Great job, Fiona. Where are the guys? <laughs> it's obeying over there. I don't know if my GoPro can see them. They're discussing whether we should actually do the next wrappers or not, because they've not done it this season. And they didn't do it all of last year because there wasn't enough snow. Don't! Goodbye! <laughs> Let's go 4-2! Four, two. Four, two. This is the gaping maw! So he's jumping from this rock and then avoiding this one here. Oh god, there he goes. Oh. 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 Jumping off a house. Yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> really takes the breath away. I think I landed a bit ass heavy there. Very impressive. And Tross holding the whole boat. Look at him. Yeah. Man, look at your surroundings. <laughs> Good job. My ass took a right bit in hitting the water then. Oh. First from the bike. Yeah, now from Second the water. Second from Craig, and yeah. then from this. <laughs> Ridiculous. Time to pick up the oil, Ross. Day one. That was a very nice, calm end to our first experience rafting. Very good, very enjoyable. Some uh, splashy moments. Mm. None that really felt like, oh my god. Not like mountain biking where it was like, I could die right now. Yeah. More just like moments of, whoop, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> felt more like a, a water ride. I think the highest grade was like, what, four plus? That was the really cool one. Four plus, that was the gaping moor. Gaping moor. Hopefully I caught on my <laughs> GoPro. This lazy river, I think we turn them off because the battery died. Battery died, died. and there's even more to come tomorrow. Indeed. Ooh. Now for beer. Do you know how to pull it up? Yeah, we're yeah, going to do... Mountain oh. Man. How'd you enjoy that? That's first, awesome. first trip. Really fun. Yeah, I can't wait for the next one. It's, uh, yeah, nobody, nobody died. I think Craig actually yeah. ended up enjoying it. Yeah, Craig, um, Craig. Can yeah, you get your opinion? Crazy. You were... Very worried beforehand, so now... I was worried. I still get worried over the big bits. Yeah. But like this last section, I don't think we filmed much of it, but it was a lot calmer and we just got to look around at where we are. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I know, yeah, the surroundings. I mean, it was pretty much I mean, it was similar to this, where you have this amazing vista. Ah, oh, those turkey vultures. See, that's how you know it's, I'm fitting my helmet well. Took the strap off, the blade thing barely came off. Time to get warm. I want to do more. Well, we're gonna. Well, okay, on. good. And yeah, we've had a good day of it, and it's only just early afternoon. Hey. Jesus. Did you get your fishies, mate. Oh, it would have been on camera. I'm about to check a certain part of the route tomorrow to see if it's actually possible and not uh, completely death inducing. It's so square. Weird. Craig, mate, this is a category five. We did four today. This is five. I don't want to fall off in there. Oh my god. Guys, sure about this? 
Jesus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh my god. That oh. looks nuts. <laughs> it looks worse than it will be. So I don't know, look how fast that is. I was saying before it looks everything looks like it's been like a matte background painting. You know when they do CGI stuff? All of this, you have these layers of trees and mountains. It just look, looks unreal. It all looks genuinely like we're in a film set. Pretty amazing. And then you've got this. <laughs> we can do it. It'll be fine, Craig, don't worry. I don't want to fall off on this one. I'm quite happy to fall out of the boat most of the time, but this one looks like it would suck. Things you do for fun, eh? It's got to scale a little. Things I do for love. <laughs> I'm in. I'm totally in. We're working out our exit strategy. <laughs> if things go bad. This is the toughest bit, but this is, I think this is the bottom of the Nordheimer stretch, which is like this particular stretch of the river. So, it's very, very calm, calm, calm. And then you almost hit an instant category five or grade five, uh, which would have to navigate through around this giant, very square shaped boulder, through this central bit, which looks a lot calmer, and into the other section, which has a bigger dip. This one doesn't have a huge dip, so it's more about pumping really hard. Um, but what do I know? That is daunting to look at. I just remembered I've, um, I've got a dentist tomorrow. Have you? Yeah. It's like when Trot missed your gig because you had a dentist yeah, yeah. all evening. Same, same dentist. Same dentist. He flew out. I'm burning I quite badly. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> We're having issues at the moment with uh, the number of mosquitoes. Uh, it's really, really hot and I'm wearing a hoodie because, uh, partly because I've um, burnt the shit out of my arms today, and secondly, I just don't want to get hit. Just fucking these mozzies, man. Luckily, Craig, being the clever boy he is, bought some jungle formula maximum. Wow. And this is essentially what people call DEET, or what we call. Oh, DEET! <laughs> so, yeah, we're just uh, here with our boats, chilling out by the river because it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit cooler down here than up there and also there's some breeze which means the mozzies don't fuck us so much they still fuck us pretty well though and this is also where we're going to be taking off tomorrow an extra six miles if any of us fall off it's going to be a real nightmare so uh there's that to look forward to Basically, here comes Ross yo motherfucking brought some cookies bitch it's a hoy that's right, he wants a cookie. Oh, yeah. I've already been served, but... Why don't I, why don't oh, I serve God. this plate? Yeah, wow. sure, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Some. So what are we having here? We're having carnitas. Some and pressed soft-shell tacos. This is our pulled pork oh, yes. uh, carnitas. It's a Mexican barbecue dish. And with some sautéed shrimp. Oh my God. Special marinade. Mm. We're in the middle of nowhere, this is insane. <laughs> like, no. You, this is what a cool box is, right? Yeah. Making all this stuff just like... And what heat... Have you just got a propane heater and that's it? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is uh, 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 chipotle mashed potatoes. We've got our cilantro slaw. <laughs> nice. ha have you guys considered like a, a cooking show? Oh, I have. This is a good show. Yeah? Yeah, I, <laughs> I want to do an outdoor uh, a cooking show. Nice. About rafting, about backpacking, so you all sorts of different ways to cook stuff, of course. And then you right? have your accoutrement, <laughs> avocados, radishes, Oh, cilantro. nice. It's very good, guys. Thank you very much. No problem, no problem. Pleasure. You're doing a great job. It's outdoor cooking with Andy Hinton. <laughs> <laughs>